Okay. Jesus. All right. Um, I'm sticking a little bit different stone today. I did this yesterday. I uh, should have made a video when I got rolling on that, but I had to make up some time. I'm stuck in the house. The people decided they wanted some stone. I said, okay, well, I got a bunch left over in my yard that I bought from my own house. And uh, she said, I like it. So I went to sticking this stuff. Um, and that's what, it's, that's what it is. It's more of a darker color stone generally. You can see over there where it's a little more wet. And this will darken up too. But I rubbed some... Uh, just some pure mix of some Titan stucco on it. And <clears throat> it made it a little more gray. I'm going to paint this house gray. And uh, I don't know, she was talking about a teal door that might be out with the stone now. But either way, so that's one little trick. You can always, they sell cementuous coloring. And you can always, if you got a lighter color stone or even stucco, you can add color to anything. Um, but I just wanted to show you something. Um, I guess this would kind of be like an ashlar pattern. Um, you can see I got them all spread out. All different shapes and sizes. And um, This stuff's heavy. So, But what I wanted to show you here was you got your scratch coat of stucco. Um, this was finished coat here. That's why it looks like that. That was before we decided we were going to put stone on this. But once I found out, I left this scratch and then around the corner there. But um, I just want you to see how tedious this stuff is. See, I got all these little shims and stuff. I know on my other video where I stuck that travertine, um, I was using cardboard and stuff. But that travertine stone is, uh, you know, it came on mesh, and it was a lot lighter. I mean, don't get me wrong, that stuff's heavy, but uh, this stuff here is the real deal. You know what I mean? Uh, so, if you could see here, and I'm going to see if in this video I can post a picture too. I wish I'd have took one, or I wish I'd have took a video of it yesterday. But, um, this was bl had blocks all around it i had to break up little pieces of cinder block here use little scrap woods little sh shredded piece of wood you know pieces of wood to um get this stuff level and true you know what i mean so just for example i started yesterday at about i don't know i probably got here about 9 30 i loaded all the stone and everything uh in the morning it's about an hour drive over here and uh just getting everything together so i started about 9 30. Uh, as soon as i got here i ate a huge breakfast and then i didn't stop till i want to say 3 30. so from 2 30 to 3 30 or excuse me from 9 30 to um excuse me 2 30. so from 9 30 to 2 30 all I got done was this bottom row. That one, that one, that one, these two, this one. And then around these corners, and I'll explain these corners to you in a second too. I don't want to make this video too long. My wife and my dad and all my buddies are like, Jesus, dude, that last video was like 53 minutes. I can't I can't watch it all. <laughs> so I said, just, just watch a freaking video. But anyway, um, but just that bottom row from 9.30 to 2.30 with maybe a couple water breaks and a couple phone calls. Uh, it took that long to get that sucker set right. But then from, I went and took a little break, got me a, a drink and then come back. And then I started on these corners and worked this way one, that way one, this way one, that way one. Bang, bang. Uh which technically you could start on this corner, put one here, one here. That way you got a nice finished edge and then work all the way down and then work all the way down. But, um, so from you figure, I stopped at 233. I might have took a 40 minute break. So we'll say from 315 to 515, I stuck the top 
and grouted at all. I didn't have the bottoms grouted. Uh, so, you know, it took me, let's see, 10, 30, 11, 30, 12, 30, 1, 30, 2, 30, five hours just to do the bottom. And then I did the whole top um, and grouted it in just a couple hours or so, you know, so. I just, I just, I wanted to explain that to you, just how long I got here at seven this morning. I don't know what time it is now, but it's been at least a couple hours, and that's all I've got done. Just getting that ground level there, and um, getting this stuff packed in. You can see shims there, shims there, and I realize there's mud in there, but these stones are real wet, and I'm gonna leave some of that. I'm gonna wipe some of that mud in to make these things a little bit more gray, but. I mean, you can see just the pain in the tail it is to get this stuff right. <laughs> this one actually sat perfect on a block. I got the block perfect level, but this, so you got these tiny little, tiny little pieces of wood, that, that, two there, a couple here, and I'm talking, that's constant. Um, yeah, I know that's a garbage level, but it's level. And you can see that uh, it's just constant leveling and checking this type of stuff. Um, you know, in my now here's the other thing about these corners. Oh, real quick, a pair of snips. Just get you a paint stick or something, and I just chop, chop little pieces off, cut them in little sections. The thin paint sticks, and then there's the thicker ones. You know what I mean? And then sometimes they'll shred, you know what I mean? They'll splinter like that and little stuff like that. When it's smaller than the big one and bigger than the smaller one, these little things will wedge in there right where you need them. Okay, that's a good little trick or tip on these corners. This stone here in particular does not have the corners with it. It does, they make the corners. But I didn't have all the corners that I would have needed to do this. They didn't want to pay for them. I don't know if I could have ever found them to match this stone. This stuff's a few years old. Uh, but it was a bargain. So, But when you do something like this, you got to start on your corners. Okay, and you got to have a nice flush edge. Yesterday I took off just trying to get something done. And I started dead center. And then I was going to work this way and work that way. Well, I started there and I got here and then I went over here. And I had to shift these two because when I got over here, I was like, man, okay, I'm going to have to cut it here. But it wasn't going to look right. So uh, be wary of that. Be wary of the type of corners you're working with and if they're going to look, look right or not. Um, now over here, I'm going to have an issue. And I'm fixing to find out what I'm going to do about that right now. So I'll keep you posted. Because I'm sure if you're sticking some stone like this, you're gonna run into that somehow. And like I, you know, like I said on the other video, it's not. No, this stuff's perfect, and it's not designed to look perfect. But you know, it's got to look presentable. Um, so you want your corners to look nice. You want everything dead nuts level. Okay, that's the most important thing, man. You want this crap level. That way, and it'll kill you taking that much time. You get frustrated, you might have to step back, take a minute, and then you'll have that stuff sitting there and the stone so heavy, you'll have it sitting there, it'll be perfect level. And then in a minute, like it looks like it's sagging on that end over there to me, that very end, those two little stones, it looks like it's dropped down some and it was just perfect. And it probably has, it probably settled in that dirt, it's a rainy day. So constantly use that level, constantly check it. That way when that stuff sucks up tight to that old stucco and you give it a couple hours, you can just shoot, shoot right on up that wall with little minor adjustments. And the good stuff about this big stone and this real rough looking stuff is you can you can have a nice grout joint in it. I want to keep them real small, which they are. None of them are bigger than a quarter inch except for maybe that one that didn't get grouted. Um, but you you know, but still you can have a grout joint and that'll hide a lot of stuff. So I'll keep you posted.